We're on our way to Savannah. That's right. We're heading to the most haunted city in the United States and we're staying at one of the most haunted hotels also. Uh -oh. Are you ready? I think I am. <laughs> this will definitely be a ghost experience. I see dead people. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day. All right, here we go. We're heading to Savannah. All right, so to get to Savannah, we're driving south uh, from uh, Merle's Inlet uh, to Savannah. And uh, we'll be passing through a couple of uh, southern towns. We took 17 South. Travel time from Merle's Inlet was about three and a half hours. We passed through Georgetown and then Charleston. And before we knew it, we're approaching the Route 17 bridge, which goes directly into Savannah. We took this exit off the bridge and it brought us right to the historic downtown. But before you exit the bridge, take a look to the right and you'll see the Port of Savannah, which is the third largest port in the United States. Once you're off the bridge, you'll be greeted by Savannah's live oak trees, covered in Spanish moss. These beautiful trees are found throughout historic Savannah and give Savannah that real southern charm. God bless Savannah. We stayed for four nights at the Marshall House in the historic downtown. It was built as a hotel by Mary Marshall in 1851, but also served as a Union hospital during the Civil War and also to house patients with yellow fever. In the 1990s, the Marshall House was renovated back to its original glory as a hotel. Now, according to the hotel's website, the hotel is haunted, and you can find many tales online about the spirits that live here. All right, so we just checked in to the uh, Marshall House. And um, if you read about this place, there are several rooms that happen to be super haunted. One of them is uh, 304, where it's haunted by a child who I suppose died during the yellow fever epidemic. And he's in room 304. And he's even been known to come out and bite people. So that's the story, look it up. That's what they say, room 304. And we just checked in, didn't ask for any special room. And this is the room we got. Three oh four. Sue's not happy. Yeah, so far the impression of this place is pretty good. Extremely friendly staff. And when I made the reservation, I mentioned that we're celebrating our 39th anniversary. That's right, 39 years. And so when we arrived into the room, this is what we found. A bottle of champagne and a card congratulating us on our 39th anniversary. The man served 39 years. Okay, now Sue's gonna give us the official room tour. Come into our room. As you can see, we have a nice area over here, a nice king bed fireplace which we can't use TV TV and a big storage area and a pretty large bathroom all the comforts of home Now one thing we notice is that the uh, floors are kind of crooked I guess cuz the building's so old so if you open this up it opens up automatically and you got to be careful so you don't smash the glass but other than that, the room is very comfortable. They have a fan above the bed and great AC, so it's nice and cool. Something that you need here in Savannah. So Sue's enjoying her champagne, and uh, then we'll take a walk and show you the rest of the hotel. Now down in the beautifully refurbished lobby, you'll find complimentary coffee and tea all day and into the evening. And adjacent to the lobby, you'll find the library a great place to sit and relax. And it's in this room that the hotel hosts the daily complimentary wine social, every day in the late afternoon. And on some days, they even have live music. Have a do with that. 
And each morning we enjoyed our breakfast in the atrium. Of note, the cost for the wine social and the breakfast are automatically included in your room charge when you make your reservation. Now speaking of charges, the hotel charges about $33 a day for valet parking. So we parked one block away from the hotel at the public garage on State Street for about half that price. All right, so we've been here about 24 hours and two things have happened which were kind of odd. Last night, Sue and I were sitting in the lobby around uh, 10 o'clock at night and I heard a voice, a whisper, but there was no one there but us. Only lasted for a few seconds. And then just now a very odd thing. We left our room and I wanted to go back in because I realized I left the fan on. So I put the card on, it clicked like it should. I went to open it, it wouldn't open. So I'm like, gee, that's strange. How could that be? You know, that, that seems odd. So I did it again. Heard the click. Door would not open. So I thought, well, gee, did the latch move on its own? Somebody holding the door. So I did it a third time. Click. Door wouldn't open. Did it again. Fourth time. Heard the click. And this time the door opened. I looked. There was no reason for there was no reason for it not to open. The latch was fine. The uh, lock worked with the key. I heard the thing open up. It turned the lock green. open up, turned green. But it seemed almost like something was holding the door when I tried to get back in. Ghosts. making a sniffing sound in the bathroom. Not sure what it is. Let's go take a look. I never found the source of the sound in the middle of the night. Until next time, safe travels.